on an officer involved shooting in Fairfield. Let's get back over to Rachel Wolf. Rachel, we know you spoke with officers just a moment ago about how all, all of this went down. Yes, and the newest information in, is all the newest information in, in all of this is that we have the name of the suspect, and it's 47-year-old Robert Hansen. So we are actually on the lookout for this man right here. This is a picture of the suspect. We are told that he could be armed and dangerous. He's not to be approached. This is a man who's uh, had many different run-ins with the law involving hostage situations, uh, involving drug charges, involving violent type situations. So again, do not approach him. He is on the run right now from police. Back out here live, let's show you what's going on. We're at the corner of Dahlia and Heath here in Fairfield, where this area has been cordoned off, and you can see an evidence marker. So what we're told is that Fairfield police were trailing Mr. Hansen uh, as part of an investigation, and they got to this area over here, and that's when they say they stopped him, and he reportedly tried to run over officers, and an officer opened fire. Now, we're not told exactly how many times that officer fired off his weapon, but Thankfully, nobody was injured in this. But here's the thing. If you're watching this right now, we just showed you the mugshot. Let's bring that mugshot up again so we can take a look at Robert Hansen. He is from this area. He is from the Fairfield Suicide area, and he was driving a 1994 gold two-door Jaguar. And I want to read the license plate off to you. We're getting all of this in in just the last few minutes. The license plate is 5, M as in Mary, O as in orange, E as in eggplant, 190. A gold two-door Jaguar might stand out a little bit. If you see that on the highway, please contact police. Do not trail him. Do not try to contact him again. We are told by police that he is potentially armed and dangerous. And again, this investigation is ongoing. They are letting homeowners back into this area, but only people who do live here. And we're going to get more information. This is all coming in in the next 15 to 20 minutes, and we'll bring you an updated story just as soon as it becomes available. Yeah, still a very fluid situation. Hope they can track this guy down and bring this to a peaceful end. All right, Rachel Wolf reporting live for us. Thanks.